A lot of people think you need to be some kind of tech wizard to use a 3D printer. But nowadays, printing on a 3D printer is much more similar to following a recipe than it is to building a robot. And that's coming from somebody who used to think that a Raspberry Pi was a Raspberry Pi. Now, if you're currently looking into getting a 3D printer, Bamboo Lab printers like the one behind me come almost completely assembled, which is actually really important because when I got my first Ender 3 v 2 shipped to me in a box with a million pieces, it felt like somebody shipped me a puzzle that was designed to be a sick joke. Once your printer's ready to go, it'll usually come with an easy test file preloaded so that you can just get off to the races. But once you start downloading your own files, it can be helpful in the beginning to get files that don't require supports. You can even search websites like Thingiverse or Colts 3D for no support files specifically. These files are usually super easy to print it can just be run with the default settings inside of your slicer software. And if you don't know what a slicer is yet, that's okay. It's just a program that cuts your prints into a million different layers so that you can print it one by one by one. But once you start feeling comfortable with the basics, start experimenting. Try printing a model that requires supports. It's so satisfying. Kind of like peeling off a sunburn. You can also experiment with things like the infill style. Spoiler alert, gyroid is the best. Don't fight me on this. Or any of the other settings that you don't know what they are. I've been 3D printing for over two years now, and I still don't know what half the settings of my slicer software are, but that's okay. Okay, you don't need to know what they all are to make something cool. But the most important thing to know is that when things go wrong, and unfortunately they will, the 3D printing community is huge and super helpful. So whether it's the Reddit comments, TikTok, or maybe you're one of those weird extroverts who actually likes to talk to people in person, find your people and you will have a team there to help you troubleshoot every step of the way. And when in doubt, remember 99% of problems can be fixed with a quick Google search and praying to the 3D printing gods. So don't let tech scare you, grab that 3D printer, join the community, and let's make something weird.